Good morning, folks. Uh, TGIF in the house. People, Lord, me live, me live for weekends. Yes. And in true style, we're going to give God thanks. We're going to give thanks for all his blessings and all his glory. So, so, people, 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 I, let me just introduce to you, let me just introduce to you the match that was aired last night. It was the Purple School, Kingston College, the boys of North Street, and what the other extra Elliston Road, you know, and Magazine High. Magazine High. <sighs> so, folks, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real, you know. Not for them not going to like me, but I'm going to keep it real. I was a bit underwhelmed. That's the word. Underwhelmed at the performance of both schools. First of all, I didn't even realize that Makati had fell so low in the seating because they are now at 40. Um, however, both schools' reputation usually precedes them in that you know, Casey I'm a, 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 the greatest art enemy. Like, we look forward. We look forward. See, you know, the bantering and the tracing and all of them. So, them but they are really not much of a contender. So, folks, I have no doubt that both schools are going to garner a wealth of knowledge coming out of this season. And I hope that they work with this team. Hopefully, they're not in an upper six. Where them lose them and them have to start fresh. But however, I'm sure it's going to be a solid team and one to be reckoned with um, going forward. I would think more than likely for KC, um, let's see if they can reach quarterfinals. Um, uh, Magati, I suspect that they may secure a wild card spot because the score... Um, was, was not bad at all. But me remember in the opening round and the speed section, both schools did, 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 why? I just too, I just too love compare. You know, I just too me really love to compare people. Why me, me remember people in the opening challenge, at the end of the opening challenge, it was KC7 and Makati one. A day are the one. If if one was a person, why? Them would be it. But they made up. They made up for it in the speed section. I like the captain, Deandra. Very promising young lady. Um and Big Joto, the guy who introduced himself first. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll stop fast with the people at picnic. But the females in general, as well as the full complement of the Magati team. You know, them them do them thing, them do them thing. Um, Casey, as I said, and it's just a matter of because I'm so used to the aggression and the yo, me love the barking thing when the man them used to turn up them thing, but oh, I guess it is what it is, yeah. But so, Casey, looking to see if you're gonna pick up the pace or step up your game as the competition progresses, you know, it's gonna take America. Yes, it's gonna take a miracle. You know them, you know them tune, old, you know, young people. But anyway, there is a there's a show that I love. It's called Beat Bobby Flay. It's a competition, a cooking competition. The producer of the show is this guy called Bobby Flay. He's a world-renowned chef. And the, the aim of the game is that there are two chefs that do a, a cook-off, and the chef that prevails gets to go up against bobby chef uh, against bobby flay with their favorite dish so this case bobby flay is more like um jago can you beat jago um no you can't no they won't but let's see how far they progress
So the final score was Casey on 37 and Magotti following, following quite closely behind with 28. Yep. Um, so no pressures, guys. No pressures, guys. Um, me not expect say we not go, we not go take it this year. Maybe next year. But no good. No good with the thing. No good with the thing. So me I go and watch you know. You know all the best, all the best in the competition, guys. So on that note, have a really fabulous weekend, guys, and take care. Until I see you next week. Toodles.